move to the Leaders of Tomorrow Awards, an award category that honors young students for their outstanding contributions and exceptional leadership. I'm always amazed at the kids that come up here to receive these awards. And Canna is the sponsor of these awards, and Canna focuses much of its community investment on youth development. This can take the form of educational support through scholarships for environmental education, through the support of programs like Ducks Unlimited's Project Webfoot, or health-related initiatives through their support of athletic programs. By sponsoring the Leaders of Tomorrow Awards, Encana hopes to support and inspire future volunteer leaders. Presenting the awards on behalf of Encana is a former Girl Guide leader who currently sits on the boards of several environmentally focused groups, including Inside Ed and the Grant Committee for Alberta Ecotrust. She is also participating in YWCA's Keep a Roof Over Their Heads campaign and will get a badly needed rest on April 30th when she sleeps in the YWCA gym with a lot of other women in support of the homeless women. Great event. In fact, we had a story about it on the 6 o'clock news tonight. I'm going to throw a little plug. And Barb's going to be sleeping there that night, too. So nobody's going to get any sleep, I would think. <laughs> Just don't tell her I said that. <laughs> but this is in support of the homeless women who were turned away from the shelter last year because there was no room. Please welcome our next presenter this evening, Patricia Etrus, Team Lead, Community Investments for Encana. support me if you want to go to the, the website, or, or Barb, I suppose. So, tonight's first award recipient for the Leaders of Tomorrow in the ele elementary school category is Severe Naji. Let's roll the video for our first Leader of Tomorrow. Sponsoring the Leaders of Tomorrow Awards for Youth, and Canada wants to celebrate the youth who do so much for their community, and we want to provide a podium for them to share their stories, setting an example for their peers and for all of us. Each of these winners exemplifies the heart and soul of volunteerism. They share a sense of empathy and compassion that drives them to help others, and they all put thought and effort into their work. The community benefits now and in the future because once someone feels the rewards of volunteering, they will often continue throughout their life. I have uh, started volunteering first um, at the Montessori School when I was, uh, just as I graduated from it, I, I wanted to volunteer more. I wanted to go there more because I missed it, right, seeing all the children. So I decided to start volunteering there and um, helping out the teacher. And then from then, I just started loving to volunteer. I nominated Zafir because of his, uh, um, his involvement in so many volunteer activities, um, from working with seniors to uh, raising money for women's shelters and, and his involvement in his mother's volunteer work. Well, it's just wonderful to see such a young man um, so with, with such a giving heart um, that wants to give back to his community. We have a flexible volunteering program for children and adults and families. It's called Hip Kids. Humanity in Practice is our company. Our purpose is that they um, learn about the different agencies and when they get older, they might want to go out and actually volunteer for them. And Zafir started with me three years ago, and he's done almost every single project, which is not that common. They give you a calendar which tells you what each month has a project for. So uh, March's project was to give art supplies to um, a children's foundation where they would keep children and if they're more friends, then they would take their mind off of it. When you, when you see the, uh, the joy that he brings to the people he works with, um, and the joy that he receives back from that. Um, yeah, it's unusual, and uh, I think he serves as a, as a wonderful role model for you know, any kids his age or older. I 
think he, for, especially for his age, is very aware of the, the greater world, and he likes to help, and he's doing it because he wants to help, and I think it, the example has been set at home for him and by his mom, and uh, I think he just likes to help. It makes you feel really good inside that you're helping someone and putting a smile on their faces, and then that's another thing that makes me happy, is giving them a chance to be happy. Amazing animals, all in one place. Cheers. 